Hello, welcome to Sound Today. In tonight's programme, refusing to move, bailiffs are brought in to evict HS2 protesters who've tunnelled under part of the route. Good evening. HS2 protesters who built a camp on woodland south of Wendover are refusing to leave. Bailiffs have been brought in to evict them from Smaldean, which is on the planned route of the high-speed line. Today, the protesters who've tunnelled under the site watch their 15-metre tower being dismantled. Jeremy Stern reports. A hugely controversial project that's been contested from Westminster to Wendover and beyond. This woodland is now the main battleground for HS2. The protesters have been here on and off for the past two years. The people dressed all in black in the NET tops are from the national eviction team. They're here to get them out. Last year we filmed inside the camp. The campaigners have dug a tunnel and built tree houses. Today I spoke to Satchel, who says HS2 will destroy the countryside. Do you feel this is an appropriate way of protesting? It's, it's the only choice that we've got left. A non-violent direct action is, uh, is the best way that anybody can make their voice heard. HS2 told us it has the legal right to possession of the land and the protesters are putting themselves in danger. Their statement added, their irresponsible actions are wasting public money, putting our staff at risk and putting unnecessary strain on the emergency services. The company said staff have been attacked, threatened and abused. The protesters deny initiating violence. We are non-violent direct activists. That's what we do. We do not get involved in violence. If we get provoked and if we get attacked and if we get assaulted, there's going to be an odd foot slips or something like that, but it's in self-defence. In the last year, protesters have been moved on from Joneswood at Great Missenden and Paul's Peace at Steeple Claydon. Do you think you've lost this fight? The trees are literally being cut down in front of our eyes. <laughs> Do you think we've lost this fight? Uh, certainly not yet. They barely even started. They've been scratching their heads since they turned up. <laughs> Satchel says he won't give in. He's planning to still be here at the start of next year. Jeremy Stern, BBC South Today.